I'm Froggy, and here is a My Froggy Stuff mashup. It's Father's Day. We've put together a few fabulous crafts so you can make your dolls some awesome Father's Day gifts. From barbecue grills to lawnmowers, we've got you covered. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I am going to make a fly fishing rod for a doll using thin wooden dowels, thread, buttons and beads, jump rings, feathers, glue, and craft paint. I start by picking a wooden dowel appropriate to the size of my doll. For a mini doll like a La La Loopsie or Littlest Pet Shop, I would probably just use a toothpick. Holding one end of my wooden dowel, I begin painting the other side. Once dry, I paint the other end. I wrap the wooden dowel with thread to make the grip. I use glue to secure the thread and trim off the excess. I glue a bead between two buttons, wrap it with thread, glue it to the wooden dowel, glue two jump rings going down the wooden dowel, run the thread through the jump rings. To make a hook, I open the jump ring on one side Cut the tip off of a feather, then glue the feathers to the hook. Glue the hook to the end of the thread, and you're done. Happy crafting! I'm going to make a grill for a doll using wooden dowels, popsicle sticks, scrapbook paper, bottle caps, toothpicks, craft paint, duct tape, and a toilet paper roll. I start by tracing and cutting out two circles from my scrapbook paper. I cut my toilet paper roll down the side. I cut a portion of the roll off. Cover both pieces of the roll in paper. Cover the other piece of the roll, just as before. Glue a strip of scrapbook paper on the edge of your bottle cap, but there is no need to do the paper all the way around, because I'm going to glue the exposed edge into the roll. Repeat on the other side, glue the circles to the sides, line up toothpicks to make a grill, glue one straight across to connect them, lay the grill on the drum, then use a pen to mark where you need to cut so that it can fit inside. Paint them if you like and glue into place. Use little bits of duct tape to glue the lid into place. Cut four wooden dowels, paint them, glue a small piece to the lid as a handle, cut popsicle sticks, glue them together, glue them to the sides, and glue small pieces of painted wooden dowels underneath to support them. Glue four wooden dowels on for legs. Glue another wooden dowel on the inside to brace them. Glue cut pieces of popsicle sticks onto the beams. And you're done. Happy crafting! I'm going to make a push lawnmower for a doll using snap cover rollers, an old disposable razor, straws and coffee straws, the wheels from a toy car, and glue. With the safety guard on, I start by removing the blade from the razor. Now adult supervision is highly recommended. In fact, some may ask an adult to do this part for them. 
Glue a cut piece of a straw to the end of the handle. Glue the other end to a roller. Remove the wheels from a toy car. And since this one was already missing a few, we thought it was a good candidate for this project. Glue the wheels to the roller. If I would like for my wheels to turn, I can try attaching them with a straw. If I didn't want to use a razor for my lawnmower, I would take three coffee straws and a standard straw, bend one of the coffee straws at two points, then bend the sides at the middle, push the ends of a coffee straw into the standard straw, trim the end of the standard straw, put two coffee straws, into the straw, trim the ends to the needed size, glue the straws to a roller. For a larger doll like an 18 inch, I would glue two rollers together. Use glue to secure the straws, attach the wheels. And for a larger doll like an 18 inch, I found this yo-yo at the dollar store that looks like wheels. I pull it apart and then glue them to the side. And you're done. Happy crafting! Here is a quick craft. I am going to make fun little mugs using paper, a paper cutter, clear nail polish, a toothpick, a sharpie pen, and a glue stick. I start by cutting thin strips of paper for the bottom and the handle of the mug. Cut a wider strip for the side of the mug. Roll a thin strip of paper around a toothpick. Use glue to secure the end and add more. Once it is the desired size, I glue on the wider strip to make a cylinder. Cut a strip of paper that fits around the mug. Use a Sharpie to draw a design. Glue it onto the outside. Take one of the thin strips, fold and glue it once, then twice. Cut and bend it into a C shape. Glue it to the side. Apply a few coats of nail polish. Allow it to dry between coats. And we did about two to three coats for a glossy enamel finish to make doll-sized Sharpie mugs. And you're done. Happy crafting! to make a no-sew baseball cap for a doll using cotton fabric, paper, a pencil, a ruler, a plastic bag, and glue. The first thing I have to do is prepare my fabric because it will need drying time. So I cut a rectangle of fabric, lay down a piece of plastic, place the fabric on top, brush it with a layer of glue, and I'm trying to make sure it is as even as I can. And if you find the glue to be a little too thick, you can always dilute it with a little bit of water. Then allow it to dry. While waiting, let's make the pattern. Using a measuring tape or a piece of ribbon, measure around the doll's head. Use a ruler to find the number in centimeters or inches. Draw a straight line. Divide the length by six. Make marks to divide the line all the way down. And I have a little left over on the end because my number did not divide evenly. So the last one is going to be slightly larger than the others. Measure the top of the doll's head to the desired rim of the hat. Mark it above the line drawn. Draw a line across the top and on the sides to make a rectangle. Draw the six dividing lines, then a rounded triangle in each section. Add a tab on the side to make the pattern for the cap. Now I'm going to cut it out and make a test run using a piece of scrapbook paper. On the wrong side of the scrapbook paper, trace the pattern, cut it out, leaving tabs on the sides. Make small cuts in the tabs up to the line, and I left a long tab at the bottom 
to fold over and glue in place. Then fold over the side tabs and glue them to the curved triangle to the right. Continue until it makes a circle. Try it on the doll to see if it fits. And if the test run is a success, trace the two front wedges onto a piece of paper, sketch the bill of the hat, cut it out, trace it on the wrong side of the scrapbook paper, cut it out, leaving a tab on the top. Make small cuts to the line, erase the pencil marks, fold over the tabs, glue it inside to complete the test run. Once my fabric has dried, I can cut and use it like paper. So on the side that has the glue, I trace my pattern, then continue just as before. And if I need the bill to be a little sturdier, I can glue on another layer. And to decorate the hat, we can glue on little cutout details. Here, I just cut out two of the wedges in a different color. Then I glued them to the front and allowed it to dry. Use a scrap piece of fabric to cut a tree shape, then glued it to the center and glue a circle on top. I can make the bill a different color for a little variety. And you can always have fun just making them out of paper. Decorating with glitter and stickers. And you're done. Happy crafting! For this My Froggy Stuff mashup, let us know what mashups you would like to see in the comments down below. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at My Froggy Stuff and The Frog Vlog. And we will see you next time. Bye!